Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. This is just a quick test of open stage control to show a number of uh, different types of control that uh, Darren asked me to to look into um, in terms of like seeing whether open stage control had similar sort of functionality to Lima. Um, there's a number of different uh, controls that he uses in his rig. Um, some XY controls, menu, um, and some other sort of pad swipe type things. So um, I just wanted to just get uh, straight into that. Um, the first one is this XY control. Um, if we have a look at the um, the control itself, uh, so here's a simple XY. When we drag it, um, we've got a range here, X and Y, 0 to 127. You can see you can drag this. I can click on it. I can drag it multiple times. It's kind of, um, uh, it just moves with it. I said sensitivity uh, to uh, one, which controls how um, how much it moves. If I set this to one, what you'll notice is that it pretty much moves one to one with the mouse. That's, um, uh, it just follows it around. So if I set it to um, half, like I had it before, um, what you'll notice is that it moves obviously at, at half the speed um, and it is um, relative. If I turn on snap, what happens is whenever I click it, it just automatically snaps to the position. Um, still relative. Um, uh, uh, that's all good. Uh, turn on spring. Uh, spring obviously stretch it out it'll snap back uh, like that it's all very useful turn off spring um, cool so that's it you can also um, uh, set it to have a log scale if you want to to get um, different type of uh, range um, uh, uh, changes um, but yeah so that's pretty much the uh, the the XY control uh, the next one is a menu. If I click this, this is of type menu. Uh, click, hold, let go. Um, what you'll see down here, I've put in the um, console which one I've, I've clicked. So basically, this is a circular menu. I can just let go and drop. Uh, it tells you which number you've let go on. Uh, so this is five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so... Um, that's pretty cool. So again, so the, the, the demo here is that there's an inbuilt sort of menu control. Um, at the moment, I've given it eight values. You can give it whatever values you like. You know, call them call them whatever you want to do. Um, literally, just got got the value that's been selected. So what you could do is you just put a switch statement in the script here and send a different CC command based on whatever um, uh, whichever item was selected. Uh, I, I say I've put it as uh, circular um, but you can put it into a grid as well so that's great um, if you've got more than one item you've got like 20 or whatever you can um, just select it as a grid um, that's all cool as well um, so that was another bit of functionality that um, was being looked for again that's just built in and again just detecting which which item was selected and then the other one so this is again this is an xy but i've hidden the, um, I've hidden the dot for the XY control. And the idea here is, if, so if I swipe out and let go, it tells you which direction you've swiped in. So swipe down and let go. So swipe out, let go, swipe up and let go. So it tells you exit left, exit top, let go, exit right. So swipe uh, and let go, swipe down, let go, and let go. So this is great, so you can get four different um, actions from one control just depending on which direction that you swipe in um, and again so the way I do that is if there's just a, a an if statement here I could use a switch just use if um, so basically if the value um, so what the value you get out is an, an x and y I think I bumped up the so no, I left the sensitivity as one and put min and max as one. So basically what happens is is you just, uh, I put I think I put snap on, yeah, I did put snap on. So basically you pretty much click in the middle, um, roughly 
sets the value you can see down the bottom to be 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and then you drag and let go. And basically the way it does it, it tests to see if here, if X is one, um, then you've exited right. If Y is one, you've exited top. If Y is um, zero, you've exited bottom. And if X is zero, you have uh, exited left. So that's how that works. So those are the sort of three things that was asked to look into. Um, yeah, um, so I, th I think they pretty much work as expected. I'm gonna post this and just ask for some feedback, but um, yeah, that's it for this short video. Just wanted to um, do a quick update and uh, hopefully uh, that shows that uh, open stage control can do the sort of cool stuff that we need it to do in order to be able to make that switch. Uh, cool, all right. Um, any questions, let me know. Uh, any feedback, uh, just whack it in the comments uh, below. And uh, yeah, as always, if you wanna see more of this, just click that subscribe button, hit the bell, and look forward to catching you in the next one. Cheers, bye.